Okay, here's a problem dealing with fluid pressure, and we're using Bernoulli's equation here because it says applications for Bernoulli's equation, but the problem says a water tank springs a leak. Find the speed of the water emerging from the hole if the hole leak is 2.5 meters below the surface of the water, which is open to the atmosphere. So if we use Bernoulli's equation, it's going to be pressure plus 1 half, and then density, uh, velocity squared, plus density, height, gravity, equals pressure, plus one half, density, velocity squared, plus density, height, times gravity. And so basically this is pressure one, and this is for the first part of the equation for the first part and this is for the leak so pressure 2 and we're gonna have to do a lot of simplifying here obviously there's a lot of information that we don't know or that it's just gonna cancel out in the equation but first of all the initial pressure for the water in the tank the, there's really no pressure the only pressure is the atmosphere but when it has the leak, that water right there is going to have also the pressure of the atmosphere on it. So these just cancel. And then for the first part, there's no velocity. It's just sitting still. So obviously this whole part right here automatically cancels. And there's no height. There's no height for the water in the first part. So that cancels. And for the second part, we do have a velocity. It's going to be moving and we do have a height because we're given 2.5 meters so we just basically the problem comes down to this it's going to be zero equals one half density v squared plus density height gravity so if you rearrange that basically so it's just its own equation it's going to come out to be one half density velocity squared equals density height gravity really this should be a negative but the gravity kind of cancels that negative out because when I write it out in the equation I'm not going to do negative 9.8 I'm just going to do 9.8 meters and so densities are going to cancel because it's still just water so we're left with this whole part right here so we have the one half the velocity squared height and gravity and we can use all those for just by the information we're given in the question except for velocity which we're solving for so to get rid of this one half to get velocity by itself, we're going to times this part by 2. And we're going to square root it. Getting kind of messy here, but we're going to square root it. So basically it comes down to velocity equals 2 gh. And you may or may not learn this equation right here in school or wherever, but it's just a basic derivation. This equation has its own name for it, I forgot it, but so velocity equals the square root of 2 and then g which would be 9.8 meters per second times height which is 2.5 meters and it comes out to be about 7 meters per second. So that's just Bernoulli's equation. It's a little bit harder to tell that it's Bernoulli's equation but with a lot of these pressure problems, you're going to end up using that equation. So that's just basically the derivation right there. Just start out writing it and see what parts you need to cancel before you start plugging actual numbers in. All right.